Ooh, look at this. All right, so actually, what's up, y'all? So I had plans today. Look at that nice, beautiful, long, empty road. Right now, it's not all that windy, slight breeze, but oh, there it is. There it is. We got the Max 6 1650 KV combo, two ways. Clean and dirty. Just kidding. Uh, so we got the Italian, Charles Italian BBC. We got the normal steed, Arvin Fraction, aka the normal steed. Uh, I'm gonna come out here, the sugar mill, get some jumps and some bashing with the Chala, and maybe a couple speed friends with the noble steed. Uh, so I just put this new splitter on, uh, and I wanted to test it out. I actually made this splitter from the front balance of the original Noble Steed, my 2003 F-150 XL that I had for like 15, 16 years, 17 years, something like that. Long time. Um, anyway, let's uh, get some passion. Coming up and bashing the safety goggles. Oh, Oh no. That was so smooth. And then pops the dog bone. And I left the damn bag of tools in the car. Alright y'all, so, so that dog bone is like wedged up in the arm. And I'm trying to do this without tearing up the arm. So I'm just going to take this home. Fix this at the workbench. So that's going to be it for the child for now. be dumb and try at least a pool with the noble steed we're gonna be crazy with it well just gonna give it a an, an attempt where to put the power button there we go let's say it's a max 6 1650 kv geared at 25 and what's the stock pin or stock uh spur uh 49 tooth there we go, there's five satellites. Start. All right, I don't know if y'all can see that, but stop, breathe. That's at three miles an hour there. All right, track start. We're gonna stick that in the pocket. Listen, I've got the gyro turned up. About halfway, probably, I'd say. All right, no 
out of there. That was a good pass. Stop. Read. 79. That's what the 25 should be. That's basically my bashing pinion, is what I'm going to call that. Like, that's exactly what I want. That's exactly. Oh, y'all i'm so happy right now uh that's it that's what i want i want about i wanted 70 to 80 miles an hour and be able to bash with that so i'm going to take this out to a parking lot later on and bash uh see about running a battery down see how the temps are um i've got my spool my spool gear should be here tomorrow uh and then we'll take it out and do some speed runs with that too geared up and that's what i want to try to use to break 100 and go from there but you know what i shouldn't do it start one more time just to see if we can get 80. that for a good second yeah that splitter looks nice though y'all All right, you know, just to see here, we're gonna see how far down this thing will go. All right, so that's, that's the end of it. So that's a decent range, but whew, I don't like not having control of that thing. Oh. All right. Yeah, I'm digging the splitter. This new one here. All right, stop, read. 77 yep so like i said 70 to 80 that's what i'm looking for and we got it so lights on because well they're probably gonna be on when I'm running any other time so 90 degrees for the ESC 
Under the Max 6, they don't care. There's no fan or anything on the motor. Honey, yeah, 110. Where that's that's a great bashing setup right there. Uh, and these GRP tires, I have to say, I'm kind of a fan. Uh, anyway, that's that's it for today's 1650 kV two ways. Let's uh, we're gonna do this again. We're gonna figure out this here because I keep popping dog bones. We're gonna we got some, some I can't talk. There are some solutions to this issue. I just don't want to tear up that arm. It's gonna sunk it. I actually might replace that arm if I have another one. Uh, but I'm gonna go chill for a little bit at the house with the girlfriend before we go watch this movie, Doctor Strange. Ooh, check that out, y'all. So y'all know I couldn't just end the day with the chala and a popped out dog bone. So we did a little mod. I didn't have any washers, so I don't know if you can see that, but a little bearing in there. Was it like the 10 by 10 millimeter by five or whatever it is? It's the little one. Put this on my noggin. It's the little bearing that happens to fit the five millimeter GPM shafts for my shocks. So we're gonna see if it stops it from overextending and flexing and popping my dog bones. So we're gonna try to get a battery done. The wind's died down too. I don't know if that was on in frame. I hope it was. Bring this a little bit higher on my noggin. I don't know if we're gonna stay till it's completely dark. I'm scared, y'all. Like, what if something come out and get me? I ain't got no weapons or nothing. I'm like, I could be unarmed or something. I got hands. I got hands. I think I still lost one. Yep, it didn't work. It didn't work. Son of a bitch. So which one popped out? Same one. Yep. Same side. Do I have all my tools with me? All right, well, we're gonna bash till it pops out again. Hopefully we can run the battery down before that happens. All the dirt raining down on me. Hope that shot came out cool. Right back out. But then it falls right back in. Yeah, it's the drive cup. Since that's the EXB diff, I need to get some more cups or outdrives. 
keep calling them cups, they're outdrives. Saved it. Was that battery or thermal? Thermal, shit. And my power button came loose. So we might go Honestly, I want smaller tires on here again. These are nice and all for jumps, but I miss my small tires. My bad Lance. <laughs> 